My name's Sharon Latham, and I want to say hello to everybody on the Whatever Oasis podcast, Espanol. As always, before the gig, Noel likes to hold court and listen to music. And this is literally before we went on the stage in Las Vegas. Um, everybody's ready to go on. In fact, if you look, they've all got their stuff ready for going on stage. And, and in fact, YC there's got a cardigan on to keep warm because it was a little bit cold in that room, I remember. Mm -hmm. And Noel's doing his usual of making everybody laugh, which is what he does. He's great mm -hmm. fun. Okay, so and of next... course, the Man, City, the Man City flags there always. That rap flag goes in every dressing room, every totally. single one. Totally. Phil manages to find, Phil, who works backstage, managed to find somewhere to put the flag in every place. Since the Oasis gigs in yeah, Lima, yeah. Uh, they put the Manchester City flag in backstage also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every yeah. every gig that we do, it's it's on every wall in every in every green room that we go in. This is my favorite picture. Oh, this is! I love this picture. It's yeah, great, yeah, isn't yeah. it? It should be so yeah. we were, a cover. It, it should be a it's cover. It's awesome, isn't it? It's yeah. Amazing. yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this was this was in New Orleans. And we'd come to shoot a video in New Orleans um, with a guy called Mike Bruce. And the okay. video was shot all through America, some of our American trip. And this house was unbelievable. I don't know. He must have obviously found the house, but it had the most weird things, not only outside but inside. And I remember Noel sitting there and just looking and going, what the hell? Where the <laughs> hell are we? And I literally snapped a series of images and this is one of them. And it, it's sort of like quite weird because there's like the beam of wood in the middle and it's quite disjointed. But I think it works because Noel's yeah. just like, what is going on? Yeah. Um, so I chose I chose to put that one in and Noel likes that shot as well. Oh, that's an amazing picture. Uh, it, it should be an album cover. It, it's really amazing. Yeah. It's really amazing. And if the album was called anything, it'd be like, what the fuck is this? Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and the and, phrase, and the phrase yeah. thing that you might be wrong was there? That was already there. Oh, and as soon yeah. as I saw it, I made sure that was in the shot. I don't know what it meant. I don't know what it was for, but it's very cool. Totally. Yeah. 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 And there's a man, there's a dead mannequin on that bench next to him, like a half a human. It's really weird. Look, can you see? Yeah, it it, yeah. it it looks like a real foot there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a creepy. It's, it's, it's a very it's creepy. It's totally yeah? creepy. Yeah. It's <laughs> very creepy. But, but again, it, the, the whole image is like, what is going on in this picture? And yeah. the sheer exasperation of all of what is going on? <laughs> Yeah, again in New Orleans, this the stage there was beautiful. And the lighting guy that works with Noel is just tremendous. Rod is tremendous. And mm. I I always like silhouette shots. I don't know about you guys, but I think we've got such a Noel's got such a recognizable silhouette oh, that when he yeah. stands there, you know it's him. And yeah. again, Weiss is dancing on that shot, and you can see there's Russ on the base, just a shake. And I just love darker shots like that with that beautiful colour so yeah that was live that was really quite at the start of the gig actually really early on I think it was the first song yeah and the moment of the birds and all that it was it's yeah, perfect. yeah that was on the perfect backdrop. timing yeah it's, yeah. yeah it's printed on the backdrop the birds yeah. are printed on the backdrop so it looks beautiful yeah perfect timing oh yes this was yes. Arthur, Arturo's favourite yeah. Yeah. I honestly, this is I love them. Yeah. In Atlanta. So if you, once they finish the set before the encore, Noel always gets a drink of water with the band. So there's always a space set either backstage or just off the backstage. So the water's there ready. So they just come off stage ready for going on for the encore. Um, and I think it was something uh, that Russ had said. I can't remember because I was standing back out of the way and it just made everybody laugh especially Noel and I just managed to get a, a whole set of these images and that was my favourite one because Noel is just absolutely in hysterics and when I said before about his smile and his laugh everybody yeah. else gets dragged into it because he's just enjoying it so much and they, that, they, was a they... great, that was a great gig that as well I'll never forget that because the, the actual venue was half seated and half standing so the ground floor bit was all standing, and then in the in the um, top top bit, it was all seated. It was such a beautiful venue. 
Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. This, this is another yeah. favorite one. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. peak. <laughs> <laughs> this was hilarious so we're in san francisco and it was sound check and this was so noel came up to me just before sound check and he said jazz uh we need a band picture for pr he said uh so we'll do it after sound check and i'm like what he said yeah we'll do it after sound check i said well i'll need to get some lights and set things up he went nah 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 bollocks to that we'll just do it and i was like oh my shit god and he's like sit everybody in the crowd it, it sits everybody in the seats it'll be fine so, <laughs> so that was one shot, and it, it did work beautifully. It was his idea. It was no, actually look. his idea. And then I and I took them backstage because this theatre was so beautiful, and did some other ones as well that have not been seen yet. I will put those out at one point. There's some on some stairs um, going up in the theatre, beautiful carpeted stairs. But yeah, this was Noel's idea, but it was a a quick band shot, and I literally he gave me ten minutes to do it. Noel looks. Uh look like a godfather for me in, in this picture. <laughs> he looks, yeah. yeah, do you know what? If you look, he looks incredibly good looking on this picture as well. Totally. Look, that's, that's yeah. an absolute, yeah. a, the lights caught his face perfectly. His yeah. pose is great. And he's looking directly at me. And it's like, yeah, you, it's quite an intim intimidating feature on his face, but he still looks goddamn hot in it. And, and, and the shot was, Instant? I mean, Noel was in that post yeah. like one second and that's it? Yeah, I literally said, everybody look this way, Noel leaned forward, and that's what I got. Great. Okay. Great. Sharon, uh, how, how do you choose if a photo should be black or white or color? Oh, I love that question. You see, it's my favorite question because mm -hmm. I think every photo should be black and white. Yeah. I think yeah. color is I think color is a very very personal thing because whatever red you see would probably be a completely different red that I see. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. everybody perceives color in a different way, but black and white everybody can see in black and white. So if I had yeah. my way, I would shoot everything in black and white. But it's sometimes yeah. good to have a bit of color, especially if it's blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this was literally my first gig back at the Manchester Evening News Arena um, after the Ariana Grande bombing. Um, and I just love the way that people are paying homage to Noel as he's singing there. In fact, Noel isn't the most important part of that photo. It's everybody singing back at him. And it's just... You know, you can see every face on there. It's it's incredible. Yeah. And I love that. I love I love to see fans' reaction and when they're singing back like that and they're so emotive, it's it's just great. And I love that picture for that reason. Totally. It re yeah. it, rem it reminds me the cover of the Dead and Then DVD of Oasis. Do you remember oh, that yeah. cover? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's like a reversion with the with no now yeah. as a solo artist yeah uh, Charon, yeah. what is your favorite moment of a uh, concert of noel god there's so many honestly this is one of them i remember sitting inside of stage and watching everybody singing back it's really weird because i i get on the stage sort of last three songs of every gig and i like to get shots like that Um, so I'm very honoured to be able to get on the stage while he's performing. So I usually hide behind the drums with Chris or I'll <laughs> crawl into a ball and think nobody can see me behind an amp. But people tend to do see me yeah. as people send me photographs of myself uh, <laughs> through social media and go, we saw you. And it's like, oh. But it, it, it is it is a massive honour because... You can't understand, unless you're on the stage listening to it, that noise that comes back. I, th I find I find that quite emotional. I do, and this was one of those times where I actually cried because I just thought it was, it was, it was epic. Knowing what had gone on at that arena and knowing that everybody was there, it's just it was very emotional. I I, I love that picture. And that song was "Don't Look Back in Anger," right? You remember yeah. that? Yeah. Don't look back in yeah. anger. Right? Yeah. yeah. That, that, This one. It's amazing. Yeah. I tend to very sneakily sometimes do a little video while I'm hiding there behind the drums as well. So I've got lots of little videos like that on my phone and I'll, I'll right. sneakily hold the camera up and hide it and, and put it round beyond the amp <laughs> so people could see a hand with a phone probably. <laughs> 
And what what is your favorite song of Knowles? Do you know what? Um, if I had a gun, it's probably my favorite. And you know I that just, I just that love song, the lyrics to it. That song was written here in Peru. Have you heard that story? From was it really? Yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. If I had a gun, no, I'd read it here in Peru. Honestly, honestly, I love the line. If I had a gun, I'd shoot a hole into the sun. What's the other, the other part of it is? Excuse me if I speak too soon. My eyes have always followed you around, around the room. room. Yeah. I love that's, that. That's, that's, that's I love the best that. line ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I speak too soon, my eyes have always followed you around. I just uh, think that's like so captivating. And for, speaking from a woman's point of view, if I knew that a guy like that was watching me around the room, I just think that'd be really cool. Yeah, that, that was written when Oasis came to Peru the first time in 2009 before they split wow. up. Uh, wow. Noah arrived to the hotel. We were in the hotel waiting for him in, in, in the bar of the hotel. And Noel came by. At that time, we have that uh, another, another pandemic. I don't know if you remember H one N one. Yes, remember yes, that. Sure. Yeah. So so Noel arrived with a with a mask, and and he just waved and he goes to the elevator to the to the room, and after that, the bodyguard came to the bar and have beers with us, and he says, oh. Noel has asked his guitar, so he's writing songs in his room. He won't be able to to come, so we have. And he we, wrote that, song. and he was writing that song. That was amazing, oh. amazing. <laughs> he, because he, see, he, we have a connection. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, connection. exactly, 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 song. exactly. Next time you ask, uh, you see Noel, you tell the story about if I had a gun. Please, oh, we'll, we'll confirm it Thank to you. So much. Yeah, yeah, he I will like confirm that. it. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Ah, uh, yes. So again, we'd gone to do some more shooting of this video for Mike Bruce in America. And I remember the morning really clearly. We'd got on these two coaches and we were taken out. We had no idea where we were going. I had no idea where we were going. And then the video guy took us to the Joshua Tree Desert in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was mm -hmm. just epic. And there was like, pieces of instruments and all the rest of it set up waiting for us in a huge rig and this gun was just on the floor um mm -hmm. i remember picking i remember picking it up thinking oh my god is it a real gun but it wasn't it was a replica yeah, yeah and yeah. then in in part of the downtime everybody kept playing with it including noel and charlotte and everybody was playing hands up hands up <laughs> so yeah and and it was very hot why they are wearing that hot. <laughs> And he had his leather coat on. Wow. And what why why was, are they it wearing was so hot? We, we kept getting on and off the mini on the on the uh, tour buses and drinking cups of tea just to cool down. It was so hot, so rock and roll. Cups of tea, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are like that because of the concept of the video, right? No, that was just Charlotte taking the mic. She was she was having a laugh with him. It wasn't anything to do with video. <laughs> And he, he, he just reacted like that, and I, I snapped the shot because I was there. Oh, you uh, see, this is this is where I'm this is where I'm so blessed and so lucky. Yeah, this was in studio in London. Uh, there's a studio there called Rack Studio. Um, so yeah, I was I was allowed to film him while he was creating music, and it was such a tiny space, and I had to try and squidge into corners and what have you. And I, and I remember Noel saying to me, "Don't mess about, don't move, don't knock anything off." Because, you know, when we're recording, we're recording. And what did I do? I, I tried to move and I knocked a massive, like, tambourine jingle thing on the floor and they had to stop. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's never going to let me back again. But he has, <laughs> so it's fine. But, yeah, that, that was him in the moment doing some recording. And this is for the EPs, right? Recording yes, for the EPs? This, yeah, yeah. Amazing. It's, it's very it is amazing. magical to see. It is magical to see him work. It's like it's such a privilege, such an honor. Lucky girl. <laughs> Thank you. I, I knew that that's, that graphic came onto the screen only once throughout the whole gig. Um, and I'd seen it keep flashing up when we'd, when we'd been at some of the big festivals because the big screen wasn't used all the time. And the big screens with the video wall, etc. So I desperately wanted that shot. And it worked out so nicely because Noel's got his back to the stage, to the audience. And I just exactly. think it looks really cool. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks yeah. really cool. And I, and I just literally, that is one shot. I didn't manage to get any of the shots because it flashed up so quickly. And yeah. I couldn't remember the sequence. And as soon as I saw it, saw it, I thought, quick, shit, quick. And I got it. So, and I was, uh, luckily I was wide away as well. I was literally in the middle of the crowd, really, really far back. So it, it came out as a nice wide shot. Yeah, it looks like the perspective of a fan in the crowd. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because I was literally in the middle of them. That's where I was. I'd gone right back into the Osaka crowd. It was great. Yeah. And Noel doesn't do that often. The no. Putting in, in, in right. the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of rare. And, it, yeah. and that and that, pic that picture in real life is like, it's about, I think it's about just short of a meter in length. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's, actually print, that's actually printed on Perspex. So it's mm -hmm. like huge, and, and when you fit it onto the wall, it like floats off the wall. It looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I love this picture. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. as well. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. you forget when you're looking at them. I, I, and again, I'm so lucky because, you know, I just subtly saw him watching. He was watching Bono's son's band yeah. called Inhaler. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He was watching them, and this was at... This was at um, Heaton Park in Manchester, and it had been absolutely chucking it down, throwing it down with rain. Um, so he was stood right at the side of the stage watching them perform live. And then I've got shots afterwards of him of hugging them once they came off the stage as well. But that's just a beautiful. I love the fact that it's not too brightly coloured. It's quite subtle. Yeah. I had to I had to crank up the ISO on my camera because it was really dark where I was stood, and I couldn't get too close because I wouldn't get that moment because he didn't know I was there. Mm. Um, and I was subtly taking that shot, and I just think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful picture. Totally. In because... the classic Noel, in the classic Noel pose with one leg crossed and hands in pockets. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs>